Beyond the slides, text, and images, a pitch deck is a powerful story aimed at convincing your audience that whatever you have to say is worth listening to. A well-crafted deck can help you land more collaborations, grow your business, and rally excitement around your creative project. Today, we'll cover advanced techniques to take your pitch deck to the next level using Midjourney and Canva. And we'll learn how to create consistent images in Midjourney. Let's start by making a commercial for a sports car, a Tesla. We want to show the main beats of this commercial as images, so we'll start with our basic plot points and build images around them. As a creator, you have an opportunity to bring your audience into your world with a union of images, text, and colors. This is a good time to think about the overall theme of your deck. I like to create with a color scheme in mind. And one clever way to find the right colors for your images, text, and slides is by using the colors website to build a palette. You can check that out in the link below. First, you want to start with a hook. Begin your pitch with a compelling opening that captures the person's attention. This could be a personal story, a surprising statistic, or a thought-provoking question. It can also work to have a bold and striking image on your opening slide. This can build anticipation for what's to come. Use storytelling to create a narrative that guides a person through your pitch. This could include a problem-solution framework, a journey through your experience, or a case study of a successful project. You should have this high-level plan plotted before you even get to the presentation. Visuals help reinforce the narrative and make your pitch more engaging. This is the most creative part of your pitch, so you should make it count. Use images, videos, and graphics to illustrate your points and bring your story to life. Which takes us to the core of this video, how to create consistent images in mid-journey for your pitch. I'll start by explaining three ideas that help me to create consistent images in mid-journey. The first is the seed parameter. The seed parameter is a tool that you can utilize within Midjourney that allows you to copy the style of a pre-made image and apply it to a new image. The second concept is color scheme. It's very important when you are creating a batch of images that are supposed to be the same story to include the color scheme into the image. I mentioned using colors to create a color scheme. That's very helpful. But once you're in Midjourney, you need to incorporate specific wording within your prompts so that Midjourney knows what colors to include. So for these images, as you can see, it's very warm, it's kind of bright, it's early morning. The color of the car is very consistent across all the images. This is intentional. And the third and last thing is the aspect ratio. If you don't tell Midjourney what aspect ratio you want your image, it's just going to give you a one by one image, which is a square. And it will look a lot like this. This is what happens when you don't tell Midjourney what aspect ratio you want in your images. So those are the three concepts. Let's see what happens when you create a prompt without including the time of day, the color of the car, or the aspect ratio like we've seen in these images. So this is on purpose. I didn't define which model of Tesla. I didn't define how fast it was driving. I didn't define the color of the car. I didn't include the time of day. Uh, it is daytime, but I didn't specify whether it's midday which would give us harsh light or maybe towards the end of the day golden hour before it gets dark or early morning and then i mentioned that it's in nature this also is very unspecific because we wanted a mountain range in the background so let's see what mid journey creates and then we can compare it with something more specific that is suited to our brief okay 
So we got four images here from Midjourney. As you can see, the first thing you notice is that we didn't define the aspect ratio of these images. So by default, they are one by one, they are square, and that's not what we need for our presentation. We want them 16 by nine. The second thing is that it's given us two interiors of the car. We don't want interiors, we want ex exteriors of the car. So this isn't gonna work either. The third is that we have different colored exterior cars here. The only one really that would work is this one, which is actually consistent with the other images that we created. I'm not sure if this is pure luck or whether it's taking from the previous images that we liked already and created already. But essentially, these are not gonna work for us for all those reasons. Okay, before I generate the image, what's different from this prompt to this one that we created previously is that I'm specifying a few things. One, the subject is a red Tesla Model S. We defined it as that it's driving fast in the mountains and the environment is warm morning light. And of course the aspect ratio is 16 by nine. Now we wanna do something a little bit extra. We're gonna use the same seed as one of these images so that Midjourney knows to create an image similar to what we made here already. To create a new seed number, you find the image that you've upresed. This image is the one that we're going to use. And you go up here to add reaction and click on that. And what you wanna do is select the envelope. If it isn't immediately visible here, you can search up here and you'll find the envelope. So we click on that. And once you click on that, you'll see that a new little envelope icon has appeared here. Then you go to your inbox. In your inbox, you'll see that Midjourney has sent you the image with its job ID and a seed number. This seed number is the number that you will use to create new images with this style in mind. So now we have our full prompt as we want it with the seed parameter and let's see the result. Okay, so this is the result that we got from Midjourney. As you can see, this is way closer to the initial images that we were creating. It's warm morning light, the car is moving fast, you could tell by the blur background on the road, which gives it that high velocity feel. Uh, all the cars are red, uh, it's a wide shot and it's 16 by nine. And if we just go back here to the initial set that we created without using the seed parameter, the aspect ratio and the color scheme that we mentioned, they're very different. So you can see just in these two images, the different types of results that you can get within Midjourney just by specifying those things that you need and by using the parameters that I mentioned. Now that you've created all these beautiful images, you want to bring everything into a presentation. It's good to start with a template. You can download any of these beautiful pitch deck templates in the link below, which include everything you'll need for your pitch, including icons, fonts, and design elements. I've used these very templates to sell creative ideas, land clients, and inspire my colleagues. And there you have it, advanced pitch deck techniques using Midjourney, incorporating storytelling, Emotive images and strong closing techniques can help you stand out from the competition with your deck. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and newsletter and be sure to check out the templates in the link below. Thank you very much.